Today, we are going to be starting a new series where we, for one week, will be creating a brand new Bacon Air account. And on that account, I am going to have to top my rarest aura. And if I don't, I will be giving out some Robux to a lucky subscriber. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And make sure you guys like the video. Let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes. As far as my main account goes, everyone, here are the statistics. We have a playtime of 12 days and pretty much 12 hours. And here is the big stat. Our rarest aura is 7.5 million, which is a hypervolt. So, on a brand new account, we are going to have to top a hypervolt non-breakthrough. We cannot get like a breakthrough star scourge and call that better. It has to be better as this value shown here. Now, on my main account, I also have a bunch of other cool auras, including three magnetic reverse polarities, unbounded, unbound, two hypervolts, three star scourges, multiple other auras as well. But we only care about the rarest aura on our account, which is the hypervolt. I will be making a new bacon air account, and within one week, I have to top it. I am allowed to buy quick roll. I can craft as many gauntlets as I want and do whatever use max luck afk overnight i just have to top my main account within seven days that is the goal for this series uh like i said let's try to get this video to 1000 likes in order to drop episode two uh, but before we hop onto the alt accounts i just want to quickly show you guys something really really cool if i head over to the achievements apparently one night while i was afk we got the glitched biome i thought this was really cool i was waiting to claim it until i got it on video bam there we are so at some point overnight no clue when we did manage to get the glitch aura which does mean that if we head over to our settings and go to leaderboard title we now have the something went wrong title my favorite title in the game so glad we got that but anyways let's head over to the account we will be on for the next week and see if we can do any better than our main a couple things i am going to be doing on this account we will be accepting the first First, I think the friend cap is like 500 or 200. So the first, however many that is, to send me a friend request, I will add the username is Valor1Week, spelled just like that. So feel free to send a friend request to the account, and I will be adding the first people to add me. And I will also have joins on for my private server, which means anytime I am recording an AFK on this account, anyone who has me added will be able to join. I can't promise I'll be in the game. I'll most likely be AFK. Uh, but you guys can still join the private server, and you guys will see yourself in the video um, when it gets released. So that's that as far as the account goes. We have now loaded in. We have one week, so we're not really in a rush right now. But the first thing we are going to, of course, have to do is auto craft ourselves a gear base seems that we can get the luck love. So turn on auto add. By the end of this video, I want to have the solar device right here so i'm hoping we get that uh by the end of this video that will be our first but we'll set this to for right now you know what 1000 is actually fine uh of course we just got a topaz all right uh so yeah we're gonna start working towards the gear base and get that crafted and then get our gear or sorry our luck glove crafted and that will be our first step that is the easiest thing to get pretty much uh the next step up is the solar device which will take a lot longer on this account I also, of course, want to get at least a couple max lux. We will need to get some exotics, celestials, and whatever else we need. So it might be kind of difficult, uh, especially with the fact that my tiny task is no longer working, seeing as how this update brought in like that bench that this lady sits on. So it actually blocks me from uh, being able to uh, go ahead and use that uh, for the tiny task. So we just got everything for the gear basing put auto add into our luck love now and uh while we wait we are gonna go ahead we need to do the easter egg uh, uh sorry easter egg quest because if we do this we actually get a luck love so or sorry not a luck love we get a luck boost now i think i remember where all the eggs are so we will go ahead and just speed run this real quick also some coins for that we are gonna go ahead and uh, walk around get all the all 15 eggs because if we get all of them then we are able to actually get i think it's like a 0.5 boost or something towards luck i'm not too sure the exact number but it's a decent number so it will be very helpful when it comes to playing the game out of course at some point hopefully by the end of the week we do manage to even get the new gauntlets that have come out on my main account i have actually gotten every single new gauntlet which is pretty exciting so you guys will have a video or see you guys will see a video out soon on that i want to test out the uh gravitational and galactic device combo because i heard that one is pretty good but yeah we're gonna walk around the map real quick while we're working on the uh, the luck glove I'll actually go check if it's glove or sorry if it's done it might be done uh, let's take a look. I have had auto add on it. So it's a chance. Let's see 
Have we gone? Wow, okay. Not even close, guys. We've not even gotten a crystallized yet. Jeez. Okay. That's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to get the egg off. Ah, shoot. All right. I forgot to get the egg that's off to the side of the park over here. I'm gonna run around the map real quick, get all the eggs. I will check back in. Hopefully, by then, we do have the luck love crafted. This should be quite easy. I think I remember what all the eggs are. So, we're gonna run around, collect them all, and I'll check back in once I have that completed. Already got a starfall biome. This was like the third biome we have seen ever, and it is a starfall. So, uh, hey, maybe we get really lucky. Imagine we find Stella's star. We'll also get some crazy auras right now if we get lucky, but I doubt that's gonna happen, seeing as how we literally don't have any boosted luck right now. Don't forget this egg back here. I did that in the first attempt on my main accounts. Uh, we're about to enter the cave here. I've gotten all cave or all the eggs outside of the cave, so we're gonna head in here, and uh, hopefully we uh, get all the eggs, and I didn't forget any of the locations, and then also hopefully uh, we actually manage to get Stella's star. That would be awesome. Oh, we just got something. Let's see what it is. This is our first above 1,000 aura. And it is a precious. All right. That is uh, pretty normal for being someone's first above 1,000 aura. There we go. Got a precious at 77 rolls. That is our first big hit of the account. We will keep going. I assume by now we do have uh, everything added into the luck love. At least I hope so. It's just a couple of gilded and stuff. So it should be kind of easy. Hopefully that's all sorted out. So once we head back to the surface here, we should be able to craft that. It will be quite helpful towards uh, hopefully getting some better auras. Oh, just got some something again what is it this time okay another precious i mean we'll keep it i guess two preciouses within 100 rolls not horrible uh, i don't think so well uh see i forgot if this was a fake waterfall or not it is not okay i feel like i actually kind of forgot where all the other eggs were i've gone to all the ones i kind of remember but now i feel like they're just tucked in corners of the cave and i might forget a couple into the secret room back here this is uh the egg that probably took me the longest to find on my main account so we'll go ahead take that three other eggs and I have zero idea where they might be. These are three that I just completely forgot about somehow. All right, I actually just remembered where the eggs were. I uh, completely forgot that Stella was even a thin. So the last eggs are somewhere in here. One there. Let's see. There's definitely one in here. And then there was one at the back, I think, is why I believe there were two in this area. All right, we have exited the cave. And I am still missing two eggs. Honestly, not too sure with these last two are, uh, but we are going to go ahead. Come on. It has to. Yes, it is completed finally. So I guess we should start working towards uh, the solar device as that will be the next thing we go for. But let's go ahead and let's get that gear on our hand to get a little bit of a luck boost. There we are. Very nice. And I'm going to continue looking for these last two eggs. At least try to remember where they were. I have a feeling they are just in the cave. Um, oh, you know what? There's one. I remember there is one back behind here, uh, but I don't think there's any others out on the surface. Surface. I think there's another one in the cave somewhere. I'm not too sure where. There might be another secret room that I forgot about. I only went into two secret rooms. The one in the waterfall and then the one at the end of the parkour. But uh, I think there's maybe one more that I forgot about. So we will have to take a look. Um, there was something down there. Oh, it's not there anymore. Devs must have removed that or something. But yeah, there should be one more egg. Uh, honestly, not too sure where this one is at all. <laughs> Guys, we just got biome no. Look at that. That is actually insane. I'm I'm in the cave. Oh, don't tell me we got undefined. Don't tell me we got a oh, it's magnetic, dude. Dude, that could that could have just been undefined to find. We could have just gone undefined to find on this account really early on within 200 rolls. Because we we did just get a null biome, but fortunately we did uh we did not get the correct one in two thousand man in the null biome uh defined as a one in one point one k and then undefined defined as a one in two point two k so we could have gotten it and hey we still actually could you know what I should do for the just for the fun of it because I know we'll get more in the future so might as well do it now uh, let's actually expand our storage a bit as well so let's see if we can get uh some null or uh, null defined oh here we go go another bro really man really another Another one, bro. Another one? Are you crazy? Also, I know where the last egg is. I had to search it up because I could not find it. And it is in the pool that I literally checked. It is here. I somehow didn't get it. I somehow did not get that, guys. It, it's crazy. All right, we're going to head back up now. Let's talk to Lime and get our blessing. Look at no biome. So let's talk to Lime and get our egg blessing. There we are. Plus 0.5 luck. That is great. Something we definitely want to get. So now we are going to go back to just trying to get the solar device here. Of course, we need another gear basin and a solar, but I'll worry about the gear basin once we get the solar. That's going to be the hard part. One in 5,000 or one in 50,000 if we get it at nighttime. So the next step, guys, is we are now going to AFK for a bit and see what we can get on this account. We have now been AFK for some time. We've made it all the way up to 2,000 rolls, uh, and you guys can already see that we did get an undead jump scare. Well, not one undead jump scare, but actually two. So yeah, we already have two 
two undead. We also have two flushed. We got a wind break, wind breakthrough. And I also kept two of our preciouses because I believe we need them for a crafting recipe at some point. So I thought, why not? Also, as you can see, we actually did get a solar. I didn't even realize that. All right, so we did get a solar at some point. I don't know where. Right there. There we are. We got solar pretty long ago, actually. Uh, Could have gotten that gauntlet ages ago, but I had not even noticed. So now we're going to go ahead. Let's just craft a gear basing. This shouldn't take too long. We just now need one more common. And uh, there we are. Crafts. We have now crafted the solar device. So the next step is, uh, I guess, the next step is actually going to be the exo gauntlet. So let's start adding, which, yes, we need two preciouses for that. Look at that. Oh, we need it undead as well. This is perfect. Oh, I don't. I removed my magnetics. Shoot. All right. Should have kept those. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's equip our solar device. There we are. So now we have 0.5 luck on the Easter blessing and our gauntlet. So we're going to now work towards the exo gauntlet. Honestly, might be able to get it. This video. No, no, never mind. No, we're definitely not getting it. I just remember that I only have like two hours left for this video. So we're definitely not going to edit this video um, unless we somehow get that lucky. I don't know, but I don't see it happening. Next episode, we are going to buy quick roll and we will make a good bit more progress uh, since I'm going to give myself a little bit more time. I may not, I'm not going to upload like for the next week. Our daily uploads aren't just going to be this. So I might do it like every other day or something. So I'll have like a day of AFK in between each most likely or something like that. So we'll probably have some good progress uh, by next video. Of course, we need to get three gear basings. Uh, we need to get two gilded, which will be easy. The exotic, which is going to be the hardest part and then magnetic and that, which I don't even know what this one is. I think that's the one in 4096. Probably have gotten it. Uh, no, we actually haven't. We did get Aqua Marine at some point. Very nice. One of the new auras. Hopefully I am going to AFK this overnight, uh, but that part will be in next video. So you guys will see what I AFK tonight in the next video. Like I said, you guys do send a friend request to this account as I will add the first people and my private server is going to be left on public so that you guys can join me. Like I said, most of the time I will probably just be AFK. Go ahead. We don't need wind for anything. Actually, no, no, we do. We need wind for haze potions at some point for heavenly pots. So we'll keep it for right now. A flush we don't really need, but I'll just keep it because we have so much inventory. Undead as well. Uh, Yeah, we don't really need it for anything, but it is our rarest aura. So we'll keep that as well. We're going to go back to AFK now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. I'm thinking about it. I don't think there is though, besides really waiting. Um, I think right now we can pretty much wait. Collect some quests, I guess. See if we have any others. Oh, we actually do. There we are. Claim. Claim. I wonder if we'll get the glitch biome on this account in one week. Probably not, but uh, you never know. Ooh. Lucky potion and speed potion times 10. Holy crap. Did we, uh, did we complete our missions for today, by the way? Well, got to roll undead seven times. I'm sure that will happen while we're AFK overnight. Go ahead. We can upgrade our inventory again. So yeah, we're going to go AFK for a little bit longer now. And I will check back in one last time before we call it quits on the first episode. So, uh, let's see if we can get something a little bit better than undead. That'd be awesome. Not a rage heated, but you know, something even cooler. So I will check in in a bit. All right. It has been, I don't know how much longer, but we have gone up about another 12. 1200 rolls and guys i cannot make this up we got another undead hey we did get a raid cheated though so technically this is our new best uh but here's the worst part guys we got as you can see another solar pretty cool right yeah so awesome yeah well actually this was a breakthrough the chance was a one in fifty thousand. we could have gotten something like a nautilus or something cool but uh we just happened to had to have gotten a solar breakthrough instead which is really unfortunate guys i am now going to go ahead and get off of for the night in AFK. And so what I'm gonna do is actually literally remove every single aura because none of them are gonna be used for anything later. So we now have a completely blank slate, but we have 10 normal aura slots. I have this set to auto equip anything. Ooh, uh, let's set it. Oh, I'm thinking, what are we thinking guys? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Nautilus and above. I'm thinking this will be good. So let's do this, apply. There we are. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, rule cutscene. Let's set this to like 10,000 so that it skips any cutscenes for like undead and stuff. And we are now going to let this run overnight, but that will not be for this episode. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you tune into the next episode. As far as the first episode goes, that is gonna do it. We got some decent progress to start off the series. We managed to get the solar device giving us a 50 percent extra luck we also managed to get the easter egg blessing which is another 50 percent extra luck and uh i guess we didn't really do too much else did we i guess we got a couple of gmids increased our inventory a good bit but this was more of a getting started video with the series our next video as i said will have a lot more progress i wish you guys tuned for that hopefully overnight we managed to roll five more undeads i have no clue though but i'm gonna go ahead and run this overnight and you guys come check out episode two of course we will have another video coming out tomorrow. It won't be episode two, though. Tomorrow, I'm basically going to be AFK on this account. And uh, I'll record a different account for tomorrow. Or sorry, a different video for tomorrow. Anyways, I appreciate you all watching to the end. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.